Hey, what's going on guys? It's Through Dolphin here back again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the season four, week four leak challenges. And this is also going to kind of be a guide for the challenges and how you can complete them. So yeah, make sure you all stick around to the end of the video to get all the information. And also guys, don't forget to leave your Epic Games username down below in the comments and I will add you and help you out with these challenges. Also guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell notification on. That way you're notified every time I upload and if you all did not know i'm going to be streaming for the first time tonight from 8 p.m to 9 p.m so make sure to stop by and say hello in the stream and yeah guys without further ado let's hop straight into this video all right guys so the very first challenge of week four we have search chests at slurpy swamps and to complete this challenge you have to search a total of seven chests now to complete this challenge a lot quicker and easier, I would recommend doing this in Team Rumble. And that is because in every other game mode, the chest spawn rate has been lowered from 100% to 75%. And Epic actually did that in the new season. So that means that a chest will not spawn 100% of the time in normal game modes. But if you complete this challenge in Team Rumble, it will spawn 100% of the time. So that means you'll be able to search more chests and get this challenge over with easier. So that's why I would recommend that game mode if you're trying to complete this challenge easily. So to complete this challenge, you have to search a total of 7 chests. And if you all do not know where some chest locations are, watch my background gameplay. Because in my background gameplay, I'm going to be showing you all some chest locations and a loot route that you can follow to open some chests in a short amount of time. So if you all are confused or you don't know, make sure to watch my background gameplay. Alrighty guys, so the second challenge we have for you all in week 4 is eliminations at Weeping Woods. And to complete this challenge, you have to get a total of 3 eliminations. Alrighty guys, so for this challenge, I would recommend either solo, duo, squad, or an arena game. I would not recommend Team Rumble, and that is solely because there's only a total of 40 people on the Fortnite map. And it's honestly just going to be a lot harder to get kills compared to a normal match. So it's going to take a lot longer if you do it in Team Rumble, but you can if you would like. But just know it may take a couple of matches because like I said, there's only 40 people in Team Rumble compared to 100 people in a normal match. So it's just more likely that more people are going to go to Weeping Woods in a normal match compared to a Team Rumble game. So yeah, that's how you can complete that challenge. And the third challenge we have is deal damage within 10 seconds of bouncing off an umbrella at Sweaty Sands. And to complete this challenge, you have to do a total of 100 damage to an opponent. And I'm going to be straight up with you guys. This challenge is going to take longer than the other challenges that we have gone over. So this most likely will be the longest one that will take the most time. And that's just because it's kind of hard to do, honestly. But yeah, all you have to do is deal 100 damage while bouncing off them at Sweaty Sands. And to complete this, I would use a normal playlist, not Team Rumble. Honestly, I would try and complete this early game. So if you find a pistol or a shotgun or something, just try and find someone that is near the umbrellas and try and get some damage off. If you do that, it'll be a lot easier than getting it collectively over a couple of matches. And it'll also be a lot quicker. But once again, like I said, this challenge will most likely take a decent amount of time. So do not worry because you have a lot of time to complete it. So yeah guys, the fourth challenge we have for you all is destroy collector cases at the collection. Uh, if you all did not know, today there was a massive update, and it was version 14.10. And in addition to the update, we got a new area which is called the collection. So basically there's going to be cases there that I'm going to show you all in my background gameplay. So all you have to do is destroy a total of three of them and this challenge will be completed. I am not sure at the moment if they spawn in Team Rumble or not, so just to play it safe, I'm going to try and do this in solo, duo, or squad games. And that's also what I would recommend to you guys, because like I said, once again, I'm not 100% sure if they spawn in Team Rumble or not. But if they do, I would 100% recommend Team Rumble because there's less players and that means that there's going to be a less chance of you dying trying to get them. So yeah, if they are in Team Rumble, I would highly recommend using it. So yeah guys, just watch my background gameplay and I'm going to destroy three of them. So yeah guys, that's how you can complete that challenge. Alrighty guys, so for the fifth challenge of this week, we have Hack Stark Robots at Stark Industries. So if you all did not know, uh, you can hack robots, specifically Stark's robots. And for this challenge, you cannot go to the Quinn Jets to hack Stark's robots. Because like it said in the challenge title, you have to hack them at Stark Industries. Because if you do it at the Quinn Jets, 
then they will not count at all. So what you have to do is go to Stark Industries, knock a total of 5 of his robots. After you knock the 5 robots, make sure to hack all 5 of them. And then you will get this challenge over with. Also guys, I'm 99.99% sure that they do not spawn in Team Rumble. And I say that because nothing spawns in Team Rumble, henchmen don't, literally nothing does. So I'm going to say that these are not going to spawn in Team Rumble either. So that means that you're going to have to complete this challenge in a normal match. So if you were thinking you could complete it in Team Rumble, you're not going to be able to, so do not try it. Because there's simply just not going to be any robots anywhere. Alrighty guys, so the sixth challenge we have for you all is destroy gatherers. And to complete this challenge, you have to destroy a total of 20 gatherers. Gatherers are basically drones, and they look like bots kind of. So basically, you have to destroy a total of 20 of them. Uh, personally, I'm not sure at the moment if they're in Team Rumble or not. Once again, I'm guessing that they are not. And that's because most of the time, things like these are not in Team Rumble. So I'm going to guess that they are not. And also to complete this challenge, I would recommend using squads because in squads you're going to be able to kill a lot more of them a lot quicker. And if you wanted to, you could have two people try and kill 10 and then the other two people try and kill 10. And that would total up for a total of 20. So you could do that if you wanted to. And also guys, I can help you out with this challenge if you would like. Just make sure to leave your Epic Games username down in the comments and I'll help you out with it. And yeah guys, on to our next challenge. And the next challenge is the 7th one. And that is going to be deal damage with a gatherer's remains. Now, if you all did not know, once you kill the gatherers, they will drop some kind of weapon. And what this challenge wants you to do is deal a total of 10,000 damage with that weapon to opponents. And that means you could deal it to other gatherers if you wanted to, or you could deal it to other players. I honestly don't think it will count if you deal damage to structures, but once again, I am unsure. So, I would just recommend killing other gatherers with their weapons or damaging other players and like i said to complete this challenge you have to deal a total of 10,000 damage so this might take a little bit longer than usual but that's okay because we have a while to complete these challenges so do not worry at all you will definitely get completed in time Alrighty guys, so the 8th challenge we have for you all is deal damage to opponents at steamy stacks. And to complete this challenge, you have to deal a total of 500 damage, which is basically 500 kills without shield, or 2 kills with people that have full shield and 1 without no shield. So yeah guys, I would recommend using a normal playlist to get this challenge completed because team rumble there's a lot fewer people in the game so it's definitely less likely that people are going to go there in a team rumble game so make sure when you complete this challenge you are going in a normal game not a team rumble game because it's going to be a lot easier to get 500 damage dealt at this area so yeah guys don't forget to do that to make this challenge easier and get over with quicker alrighty guys so the ninth and final challenge we have for you all this week is going to be deal damage to opponents at the authority and as you all know once again it's going to be a total of 500 damage you have to deal once again like i said with the last challenge i would highly recommend using a normal game mode instead of team rumble to complete this challenge because it's going to be a lot easier to find players that are going there especially because this is going to be in the challenges of week four once they come out so more people are most likely going to go there when these challenges are out so that's why i would recommend team rumble to you all Alrighty guys, that was the very last challenge of the video. If you all enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with all your friends. Also guys, don't forget to follow my Instagram, Twitter, and also my Twitch down below. And I'm going to be streaming from 8 to 9 p.m. EST tonight, so make sure you catch that stream. Stop in, say hello, and guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.